We're very pleased with the interim results to 30 November for two reasons. Firstly, it shows that we're in line with our market expectations for the full year. And secondly, and perhaps more importantly, it's the first set of results that reflects all the acquisition activity last year. We acquired five companies last year, four of them are reported in these numbers, and we're delighted that the results from each of those companies have come through in the numbers. So we're a non-bank provider of finance to SMEs. Uh, we organise ourselves into three product divisions essentially, uh, asset finance and vehicles, which provides business critical finance for small companies ranging from catering equipment in restaurants through to yellow plant in uh, heavy industry for example, and vehicles, although all of our vehicles is broked on to other lenders. Uh, we have a loans division which provides property backed uh, secured loans to individuals and businesses and working capital loans for small companies. And then thirdly, we have our commercial finance division, which provides invoice finance to small businesses. We're very pleased with the set of numbers we're publishing now for the first half of the year. And I think it reflects very well on the hard work and efforts that all the staff across every one of our sites have put in over the last six months. Despite some relatively challenging economic times, we're delighted to report that all our key financial metrics have increased significantly during the last six months. Revenues up 74% uh, to 13.9 million. Uh, profit before tax and exception was up 77% to 3.6 million. Um, and all our other key indicators have moved in the right direction as well. Our balance sheet is significantly stronger at 44.5 million net assets as at 30th of November, up from 28.5 million at 31st of May, which is a significant growth. Um, the deal origination, the, the, the front end of the business, if you like, as new business comes in, has gone up significantly both on our own book and on a broke on level and our total book of receivables has increased significantly as well. So we're very pleased that all the key financial metrics that we have have a nice big green tick next to them across this period. The only one that may stand out slightly and it's still seen 5% growth is earnings per share and that's driven by the fact that um, we issued significant shares, uh, about 31 million during this period to enable us to continue our acquisition trail and that has diluted that figure slightly. However, it is still very pleasing to be able to report it is a positive growth earnings per share as well, despite that. If we look at revenue, the 13.9 million, however you cut it or dice it, we're very pleased with how it's made up. We've seen growth in the lease side of the business, we've seen growth in the loan business, and through the acquisition of Positive and Generate, our invoice finance businesses, we've got significant new revenue streams from invoice finance. However, what's particularly pleasing as well is that the businesses that have been with us for over 12 months, and by that I mean the original company in Bath, 1pm, Academy Leasing up in Warrington, and Bradgate in Lutterworth have all shown considerable organic growth across the piece, 23%, which is fantastic and I think reflects very well on the strong management teams that we've got in place in those businesses. There'll always be opportunities for small bolt-on acquisitions, as evidenced by the fact that Academy Leasing acquired Car Finance to you just after the period end. Uh, so there will be opportunities to add scale in Academy's case Academy uh, provides finance for over a thousand vehicles, new vehicles per year, and with the acquisition of car finance to you, it now provides finance for used vehicles. But we have no plans to enter into any transformational acquisitions during the second half of this year. Our focus really in the second half of the year is on operational projects and delivering the benefits of uh, integration across the group. We're making very good progress on our major integration projects, uh, particularly in relation to cross-selling, to improving our net interest margin, but most importantly in relation to our systems project. We call it Platform One. It's the project where we're knitting together the various systems that we have within the group following our acquisitions and, for example, putting in place a data warehouse. And there'll be some delivery of uh, project phases during the course of the next few months. So we're excited about the integration efficiencies that the systems project will bring. We're only able to do what we do thanks to the support of our funding partners. Um, and We've got three distinct funding lines, our, our leases and to a smaller extent our loan business is funding through traditional block discount facilities. Our loan part of the book is primarily funded through a secured loan note programme 
And since the year end with the acquired invoice finance businesses, they're funded through traditional invoice finance back to back facilities. I'm delighted to say that all three of those funding lines are very well supported by our funding partners and there is significant headroom in each of those lines. Across the piece, we have funding facilities in place of roughly 137 million as at the 30th of November, um, with a headroom of around about 40 million. And that gives us significant scope for growth as we move forward. Our receivables book has increased significantly over the period. This is driven both by the organic growth and deal origination that the leases and loan businesses have, but also because primarily of the acquisitions of Generate and Positive in the invoice finance uh, arena. Given the relative economic uncertainty, we've taken the opportunity to increase our bad debt provision over the past year from 1.2 million to 2.1 million. We feel this is a very prudent approach. There's no data sets in our book indicating that we need to, but we feel it's the right course of action for the business. We're positive about the outlook for the rest of the financial year. There is certainly more competition in the market and there are some uncertain economic conditions that have been well documented, but we feel that our strategy has anticipated some of those, that we're very well spread now in terms of the products we offer and the sectors into which we provide finance. So we feel we've taken all the right strategic steps to be well placed to deliver increased shareholder value uh, and our earnings per share is gradually increasing and we're continuing to pay a dividend.